All right, guys, this video is on light. So let's jump in here and see what we need to know. So we got five questions here, and we'll have the same five questions at the end of the video. And then at that point, um, great idea to pause it and test yourself out on all these. So we want to know what is the speed of light? What is the number of cycles of a wave that pass a specific point in one second? Uh, relation there between uh, wavelength and frequency. A third question, uh, visible light falls into what range in the electromagnetic spectrum? So we'll definitely be going over that uh, electromagnetic spectrum. And uh, which type of wave has the shortest wavelength and is also the most dangerous in the electromagnetic spectrum? Okay. So in a vacuum, uh, the speed of light is 3 times uh, 10 to the 8 uh, meters per second, right? So right off of the bat, what is the speed of light? Our very first question, and we go ahead and answer that one. Um, photons carry energy, and the amount of energy a photon carries is directly proportional to its frequency and inversely proportional to its wavelength. Okay, so that's an important one to know as well. Uh, frequency is the number of cycles of a wave that pass a specific point in one second. So let's go back here again. What is the number of cycles of a wave that pass a specific point in one second? And we just answered that as frequency, right? So that's an important concept to know. And as we get into waves, so really there's four uh, type of waves I want to talk about that are the most common uh, that you'll be tested on, which are microwaves, transverse, longitudinal, and mechanical. Okay, so microwaves can be used to broadcast information through space. They're good for transmitting information because the energy can go through substances such as clouds and light rain. Radio waves have the lowest energy levels and are transmitted by radio broadcasts, TV broadcasts, and cell phones. A transverse wave has movement of the particles at right angles, which are perpendicular to the motion of the energy. Movement of a wave through a solid object, like a stretch rope, or a trampoline is an example of this type of wave. Um, and then a longitudinal wave involves movement of the particles parallel to the motion of the energy. Right, remembering we just said transverse wave has movement of the particles at right angles to the motion of the energy. Longitudinal parallel to the motion of energy. Uh, sound waves moving through air are an example of this type of wave, of a longitudinal wave. And a mechanical wave is a wave that is an oscillation of matter and therefore transfers energy through a medium. Okay, so there's our four types of waves. As we jump quickly into wavelength, a wavelength is just the distance between two successive peaks of a wave. As a wave's wavelength increases, the frequency decreases. And as a wave's wavelength decreases, the frequency increases. Right, so another question there, right? As a wave's wavelength blank, the frequency blank, right? And just again, just to repeat, waves, the wavelength increases, frequency decreases, wavelength decreases, frequency, frequency increases. Okay. Uh, wavelength is also measured in meters. It is a length after all. The frequency, which is just F, of a wave is the number of waves passing a point in a certain time. We normally use a time of one second. So this gives frequency the unit of hertz, which you will see as Hz, since one hertz is equal to one wave per second. Okay, so electromagnetic spectrum. So first we'll just talk about uh, the common designations are uh, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Uh, visible light falls in the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between infrared and ultraviolet. That is commonly asked question there. Um, and we'll jump in here to uh, gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most energetic and dangerous form of electromagnetic waves. Gamma rays are a type of harmful uh, radiation. Typical size of a gamma ray is 
0.000001. So that's five zeros and then a one. Nanometers, which is the width approximately of an atomic nucleus. Gamma rays have the smallest wavelengths and the most energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. Right, so that last sentence is really the one that you want to lock in. Let me say it one more time. Gamma rays have the smallest wavelengths and the most energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is energy that is transferred through free space or through a medium in the form of electromagnetic waves. Uh, examples could be radio waves, visible light, and gamma rays. And then finally, uh, just a small point, uh, a particle of elect electromagnetic radiation is known as a photon and sometimes called a light quantum. Okay, and with that, we've covered uh, everything you really need to know. So at this point, a uh, great idea would be to test yourself out on these questions and see if you can answer them all accurately. If you're unsure, it's certainly a good idea to go back uh, into the video uh, so that you feel uh, confident on all these questions as you head into your exam.